Now, ahead of Wednesday's September 6 judgment to be delivered by the Presidential Election Petition Court, the presidency says that President Bola Tinubu is not worried about the outcome of the court. According to presidential spokesman Ajuri Ngelale, the president sees no need to threaten judicial officers, saying that the judiciary is in the best position to make independent decision based on the merits of the case before it. Of course, there's a quote here. The president sees no need to threaten judicial officers, blah, 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 and then that goes on. Uh, he will continue to ensure that no matter what the outcome of the judgment is, he does his part and ensure that our institutions continue to be respected, not just by him, but all actors in Galali added. The, the tribunal's judgment will be delivered while the president is away in New Delhi, India, for the G20 Leaders Summit. All right. In the meantime, Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu has met with the Ministers of Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff, and the Service Chiefs behind closed doors at the Council Chamber of the State House, Abuja. In attendance were the Ministers of Defense, Badaru Abubakar and Bilo Matawale, Chief of Defense Staff, the General Christopher Musa, Permanent Sec Abubakar Kana, Chief of Army Staff, the Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, his Navy counterpart, Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, and Chief of Air Staff, the Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar. The meeting is expected to center around the security situation in the country as part of regular briefings by the security chiefs. President Tinubu later led a high part delegation to attend the G20 summit in New Delhi, India, where he will be engaging with world and business leaders to drive investments to Nigeria. In another story, the Beachy Local Government Council in Kano State has embarked on a treatment of over 3,000 Right, in another story, the Beachy Local Government Council in Kano State has embarked on a treatment of over 3,000 wells with chlorine to enhance the hygienic drinking water in the local government area. The essence of the program is to ensure that the people of the local government have clean and hygienic water for their day-to-day -day activities. Residents of the community applauded the foresight and commitment of the local government council. The project will be of benefit to us all because we have faced different health challenges and we promise to make good utilization of the project. The project is aimed at protecting the good health of people of Bichi because in the past we have faced different health challenges. And we thank God for this intervention. At least it will help in minimizing the cases. The and in another story, the federal government of Nigeria on Monday faulted the inauguration of Gabonese General Bryce Ogligui Nguema as the... Okay, so a new data released by the National Bureau of Statistics showed that Nigeria generated 1.49 trillion naira as the aggregate revenue from value added tax in the first half of 2023. The NBS Monday stated that on the aggregate, VAT for the second quarter of 2023 was reported at 781.35 billion naira, showing a growth rate of 10.11% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis from 709.59 billion naira in the first quarter of 2023. The data show that local payments recorded were 512.03 billion naira, foreign VAT payments were 142.63 billion naira, while import VAT contributed 126.69 billion naira in the second quarter of 2023. On a quarter on quarter basis, the NBS stated that the activities of extraterritorial organizations and bodies recorded the highest growth rate 
with 212.06%, followed by real estate activities with 123.09. Uh, invest time, resources in improving yourself and becoming a better version of you because when you do that, you have value. And when you have value, value would come find you. That's my thoughts for you this morning.